There's a good place there for the LED from the alarm system on the dashboard there. And uh, the dashboard's quite easy to take out. You've just got screws, one, two, three. They're just kind of underneath here in places like that. So you just take them out. And um, there's a couple up the top here above your taco and speedo. And this whole black thing surrounding here will just, will just come off like that easy, can tease you, right? And... Um, if you want to take the speedo and taco out, that's straightforward. There's four screws on that, and you can actually take that out, unplug it, and uh, whatever you're doing with that, you know. Um, I was just putting a new face cover on mine. And, um, yeah, this is the uh, air conditioning stuff and all that sort of gear. I've actually changed all the light bulbs in here, so I've got lime green. Uh, not lime green, just green light bulbs um, in it. Uh, the cruise control here, this is the stalk. It's an SCS3 electronic cruise control. So it has the memory for preset speed, so the last speed set if it's 80, press resume, will take the vehicle back to 80 kilometers an hour, uh, decelerate, accelerate, uh, set, coast, on, off, it's straightforward, uh, that works really good. And um, yeah, so that's um, all I have to say about that. So just on the dashboard here, you've got this little glove box type thing here in front of the passenger seat, uh, just a quick half turn of those things there and the uh, little thing pops off. And uh, this is where I've mounted the uh, Viper alarm in here, and that's the remote control there. It's a, it's a high frequency alarm, so you've got a range of uh, many hundreds of meters as well. Now obviously, you've got that the the lock button there, and unlock. And this one here I've got set up there. That's to, to uh, close the sliding door and open the sliding door. Uh, these are good because at night time when you're sleeping, you can set this uh, and uh, go to sleep. The doors are all locked and you have a sort of a peace of mind and security and of course you have the shock sensor turned down so that it doesn't go off and you hop up out of bed and bump your head on the roof right so that's the viper alarm live here at where are we rover park rover park it's a motorbike park it's uh, on the near near out near stanthorpe that's where the rednecks come from this is a uh, central locking actuator, uh, actually on the, the actuator is actually on the rear door. This is a central door locking actuator which is actually on the rear door of the Toyota Coaster bus. Um, and then of course you just, um, it's got two wires which you run through, which just go through the grommet here and then run along the body up and connect up to the central locking. And so when you press the remote control, on from the uh, security system which is I'm using a Viper 1002 um, like such they lock you the car and of course unlock you the car and uh, with the coaster when you have this uh, door here is in the unlock position and you turn the ignition on you get this uh, this silly beeping noise you know actually now if it's in the lock position yeah you get this beeping noise so when you come back from shopping and the door's locked, you hop in the car, then you turn the ignition on and beeping noise. So this is good central locking because you just unlock all the three doors all at once. So we've got a door here. Here of course in the, uh, you know, the sliding door and that's the central door locking actuator there which connects power and earth on that side there. Which then connects up to this side here when the doors close and that way then the central locking motor can get its power. <laughs> Stop you lad, that. And uh, anyway, we've been a bit cool and groovy, and so we've set the remote up here. Watch your toes, Al. And um, so basically, you've got four buttons here. Um, that button there now is also now the lock button there for the uh, sliding door. Like that. And then, um, so you walk up to the bus, get really cool and open. Right, so that's um, the deal with that. Obviously, it's got a central door locking in the driver's side door as well and I've got an alarm system in the car. So for the uh, driver's door with your wiring going into that there, uh, there's a grommet at the back of the door, runs down here, goes into here, easy, easy, easy. If you take off the indicator, there's uh, two screws under there, that pops off, and then you've got a funnel way going through into there, and then up and under to the, this grommet here, behind the, so your brake pedal, straight behind there, there's a grommet there, 
which goes straight through the floor. And that's where you can run your wires through to come up in through into your dashboard, into your uh, vehicle security system. Um, and, um, you know, yeah, that's the go. Yep. One, two, three holes. One, two, three. Template. Template on the roof. And then we just, I've made holes in the template. Right? And then I can put on the roof. And then, you know, mark through the holes. Sit the horn up there. Make sure it's all straight. Double check it. And it's all fantastic, eh? All right, so um, yeah, the, so anyway, that's obviously the air horn up there fitted onto the vehicle, and I've made a hole into the plate, which I've run the wire through. So I've got a, the two wires going to a T a T join, then it comes through on the other side. The T join then goes to another T join there, which then you have your two pipes which run to the compressor. The compressor's got two pipes coming out the back of it there. Okay, now the compressor um, because um, the way I've got it set up here. Um, I've just got it mounted up there uh, because I haven't got my 12 volt batteries hooked, my house batteries hooked up to the earth of the body of the car. Um, I've just run the earth from this straight back to the battery because if I run the earth from this to the body of the car, it's a 24 volt earth and um, it just wouldn't work. So there it is there, and um, yeah, I guess that's all pretty straightforward. Yeah, not much to say about that really. Honk honk. <laughs> Now that's horny.